Is a GPU crash for NVIDIA and AMD finally coming to give us better prices as well as more availability? Well, come a little closer. If you listen to the signs that are happening worldwide, I think we may be in for quite a surprise. Let's talk about it. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a creative person, somebody who's curious, a lifelong learner, Skillshare is a great way in one place to get different classes in order to just grow as a person, as a creative. If you guys watch me here on YouTube, I do all sorts of tutorials, builds, and likewise on Skillshare. Definitely a great place where I've learned how to hone my skills from product photography. Every time I put up a really cool looking computer to product videos, there's a lot of great creators on Skillshare. For example, I've taken the class by YC Imaging and they give you a lot of great filmmaking principles, things that I've applied to this very YouTube channel and Skillshare is a fantastic way to go about doing this. You'll get unlimited access to thousands of classes and you get great feedback from the community and even better news, it's actually really affordable and the first 1,000 people to go to my link below will get a free trial of their premium membership. That way you can explore they have so many different categories. And let me know what you guys think down below. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Some say every time you do, you get a one more hint that something's finally changing. So let's talk about the topic for today. Is a GPU price crash coming? Well, in some ways it has already happened. Now, we've been talking about this for the last week or two because there were massive changes actually occurring that I've witnessed myself. You can go on eBay right now, type in an RTX 3070. You'll see that in May and in, and in June last month, the price was considerably higher than it is now. Usually you'll see them from like 13 to 1400 at their peak for a 3070. Now you're seeing 3070 sell for 1100, 1000, sometimes even 900, depending on if it's used or not, depending on the model. So that's a pretty tremendous price drop already on the secondhand market. And not only that, one of the big biggest signs that something is changing. Like I mentioned, some stores like Micro Center have had more stock available where even people that looked at my last video, they said, hey, I went into a local store and guess what? They actually had a 3080, they had a 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti. And now first, let's get a few things out of the way. Some people may ask, why aren't you individually seeing these results yet? Well, anybody can go on eBay, see the results. Anybody can check, you know, certain websites for stores like Micro Center, even if you don't live locally next to one of them but a lot of cases for example like on amazon and newegg and best buy where people do a lot of their computer parts shopping specifically gpus they may be wondering why aren't they seeing these prices on there yet maybe if they are some available on newegg or amazon it's for a, you know a third party seller and the price is inflated well those will be certainly one of the last places that you're going to see these gpu trends happening first you're going to see it on a smaller level maybe on ebay your local marketplace you'll start to see these prices decrease Decline. And of course, you're going to see it in some local stores, brick and mortar stores, as well as in the worldwide market. Sometimes it happens worldwide before it actually gets to these US based websites like Amazon and Newegg. The primary reason for that is that, for example, something like Amazon, it's an extremely popular and very visual website where everybody is going to go and check there first, just because people are used to finding things in stock there. They're used to finding deals. So you can expect those to be the last place you're going to be. Able Able to find these GPUs just because everybody has access to them anywhere in the world basically or predominantly in the US and North America but even worldwide people still have access to you know different places that are connected with Amazon so having said that that's why when sometimes you know when you say GPU prices are coming down there is more availability people will say oh but I don't see it it's definitely not happening you're just looking in the wrong place and Amazon and Newegg are gonna be probably the wrong place to look at this point but Trust me, it's happening as we've seen it. Everything is going down. So the big question of the video, is it going to be a GPU price crash? Now, what could we consider a price crash? Is it just a really massive you know, difference from the peak all the way down to maybe close to MSRP? 
Well, I would say they're really considerate, you know, a, a price crash, meaning that there are probably going to be GPUs flooded on the market. I would say it certainly has to be at a minimum of at least the MSRP, but most likely even lower. So that way you can really genuinely consider it a price crash. Like, let's take the RTX 3070, for example. Maybe the high price was around $1,400. And now if it's trending around $1,000, that's certainly a big difference in price, but not necessarily a price crash. That's more just a adjusting for the demand as well as the availability. Now, remember that, you know, a $1,400 RTX 3070, most likely MSRP, if it's like an EVGA model, was somewhere around maybe $600. Of course, there's the 499 Founders Edition, but we'll focus on the third-party GPUs as that's certainly more out there on the market. So for it to really be a price crash, $1,400, I would say if it went down to $600 or even $550, that's certainly a massive sign that, you know, price are not only stabilizing but you've been through a huge correction now why is this happening now and what's going to happen within the next few months the main reason that i think that this price correction is happening now look at the price of ethereum in may you look at the graph it goes way up gpu prices are also well correlated with that who went up very high as well and then you look at sort of the you know the mining profitability as well as the ethereum price now and while it's still profitable it's certainly a lot lower than it was before and likewise people are not buying gpus when they see the price really high, everybody goes out and wants GPUs. When the price goes down and it's not as interesting for them, people just don't want as many GPUs. Couple that with perhaps a little bit more manufacturing increase, which we really don't have much evidence for. And along with the 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti being released, those of course, as we know, are light hash rate GPUs, meaning that they really serve very little interest for miners. So of course, they're going to sort of stay on the shelves a lot longer than a typical GPU like a 3080 or even a 3070 that doesn't have any of this limitation so you put those things together a sort of a unpredictable moment that we're in now specifically with ethereum and you put together the light hash rate gpus and maybe even though we don't have evidence for it maybe they are caught up a little bit with certain manufacturing ends if the demand is down a little bit that's how we're seeing all of these prices go down because at the end of the day who was willing to pay fourteen hundred dollars for a 3070 most likely people that wanted to put it in the mining rig that's really the reality of the situation and people rightfully so sometimes will argue that there are other more vital factors affecting availability and price such as manufacturing delays and chip shortages and while all of those are true there's no doubt that sort of the you know correlation with ethereum and mining certainly goes hand in hand with gpu pricing and availability it's not the only thing affecting it but you can definitely follow on the graph when both go down in price and when gpus go up in availability so for me that's definitely as much proof as I need because it's obvious what's been happening so what does this mean now should you buy a GPU or wait for a further crash event wait for these prices to really get to MSRP and below I know a lot of people are holding off until these GPUs are minimum MSRP and I don't blame you who wants to pay more for something that's really priced at a certain point and it's been inflated by maybe artificial methods in the environment so I think two things if you're that type of person that you definitely want it at msrp or below it certainly looks like it's heading in that direction unless something major changes there are some changes coming to ethereum which generally are going to be more in the negative side like the eip 1559 which may reduce a little bit more of the sort of the profitability of ethereum so all those things are a change in the right direction for gamers who want you know more gpus available not necessarily for miners that that profitability may go down but crypto in general is very unpredictable so it's hard to say which direction it will go in so having said that if you find a gpu at msrp now and they do exist if you look in the right place and it's a little bit easier today than it was two or three months ago when it was literally really impossible no matter where you looked but i think it's a little more likely today but i think if you wait a little bit longer if these trends continue i think most likely you'll find more of an abundance of gpus and definitely much closer to the msrp price so that's certainly good news so in general if you really don't want to overpay for a gpu i would 
recommend wait a little bit more until you can get them from a store at MSRP, you know, brand new, or look on the secondhand market. If they're at MSRP in the store, you can bet that the used ones will be cheaper. That's not what we've seen the last few months, where even a used GPU will be much more expensive than a new GPU just because of the inflated pricing. But that's a trend where you're going to see that happening on the used market. So I really think maybe within the next month or two, we may actually see something that we can consider a price crash for the GPUs. Even if they come back down to normal, that seems like a crash enough from the really outrageous highs that they were. So barring any type of surprise and, you know, mining or Ethereum or something like that happening that's against sort of this type of trend, I really do think we're closer today than ever before at finally seeing these GPUs available at a price that you want to pay. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.